Alright, so let's begin Monday Night Raw review for October 31st, 2016. Halloween! Happy Halloween! Well, it's too fucking late now. Um, if you're having a Halloween party, or you're at a Halloween party, or you're just having fun, don't drink, because, you know, you can get fucked up. And especially if you're a girl, you can get taken advantage. It's a little tip from your boy. I'm not saying I've been through that shit, because I'll never drink in my life. I... I... I swore on my great grandmother's grave I told her before she even passed away on this very day back in 2008 that she that I will never ever drink or or smoke or do drugs so just I don't know why I don't know why I even went there but anyways let's get to butter that raw uh I was hoping raw would be decent but guess what, as always, Raw isn't decent at all. Raw legit made me fall asleep in my chair. I have never fallen asleep in this chair. Like, I always have my eyes closed, you know, you know, for like a couple of minutes. But legit, I felt like I should have fell asleep. Like how you fall asleep on your bed. I, sh I felt like falling asleep on this chair. And I'm watching the, the freaking show on my laptop via live stream because the fucking... On my TV, it's so awful. You have no idea. Like, uh, the, qu the quality's not in H... Not in... Uh, Jesus. Anyways. So, let's... Let's let's get to the show. Let's get... So, we started off with Goldberg. I got back from Trigger 2 with my little sister. Uh, you know, got some candy in my neighborhood. Instead of going to a different neighborhood. A white neighborhood I used to go to. Uh, like where I used to live years ago. But... Since this clown shit going on, um, fuck that. So, just saying. I hope this clown shit. If this clown shit keep t uh, continues in November, then it's a serious problem. But we'll see. Um, okay, so let's get to Monday Night Raw. Goldberg comes out. Like I said, I got here, and I, I got I I was able to put on the TV and Goldberg doing his entrance, the pyro, the uppercut, the kick, and the punch. You know, I just love that part in this entrance. Besides the part. Like my favorite part is the the punching and the sh and the kicks and shit. My second part is when he's walking in the back, going through gorilla position. I love that part. And uh, I'm like, just saying, I'm like, play his WWE music, you fucking assholes. I'm not like these fucking marks out here. Say, oh, his WCW theme was bad. Fuck you. I love his WWE theme. All right. I'm the guy that can sit here and say my favorite feud is Cena versus Orton. Also. My favorite Goldberg music is the WWE version. And also, I can sit here and say, I love the, well, that one match that everyone, oh, I love the Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar WrestleMania 20 match. And the Triple H versus Randy Orton match and, at WrestleMania 25. And a lot more that people don't like that I fucking like because I'm not like these fucking marks. Alright, so enough joking around. Goldberg comes out and he basically says, look, man. Brock Lesnar, me and you are going to go at it at Survivor Series. And then Paul Heyman comes out. Paul Heyman's, you know, telling the fans, Look, man, you're pissing me off that, you, that you're chanting this bald fuck's name, okay? Stop chanting his name, all right? Chant Brock Lesnar or Suplex City or whatever the fuck you chant, right? And then Goldberg's like, Come on, yeah, chant, chant my name. Goldberg. Goldberg. So... With that going on, you know, Heyman gets in the ring. Heyman even said it himself. He, what he, what he's getting in the ring, he's talking. And he's like, why am I even doing this? Like, what, what, something's controlling me. Why am I getting in the ring? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Paul Heyman, why are you, what are you getting in the ring? The man took off his jacket. You're going to get fucked. No loop. You're going to get fucked, right? So he, so Paul Heyman's walking up, talking shit about his son, saying how his son's going to watch him fail and, be victimized, beaten, conquered by Brock. <laughs> and then Goldberg was starting to walk up slowly and slowly and slowly. And Paul Heyman's like, I'm just an advocate, man. I'm just an advocate, please. I'm just, and then Rusev Rutia. Rusev Machka. Like, Rusev comes out, I'm like, what? what? Rusev? And then Rusev's like, yeah, Brock Lesnar's not here. You know, it's funny how Goldberg's talking shit about someone that's not even here. Brock Lesnar is not here, you fucking marks. All right. 
Perusa saying that how he hates weak people, what he does to weak people, and he, he he clashes them, and then he punches Goldberg. Goldberg's like, okay, well, that was a nice shot. Let's see how I like these knee lifts, though. Now, yes, Goldberg did slip, but the commentators kind of saved him. He's like, you know, the, oh, Rusev tried to fight back, even though Rusev didn't really try to fight back at all. But, like, he Goldberg slipped, and then he got back up. Knee lifts, knee lifts, and then... The jack plus the hammer equals jackhammer for Rusev. Rusev received that jackhammer for his job out. And then Goldberg throwing the showboat thing, you know. Nah, 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 shit. And after he looks at Paul Heyman's like, oh, shit. This fat fuck's still here. Hmm. What, what, what should I do? Hmm. Let me please these fucking marks. And then after he hits the rope, spear. He spears Paul Heyman. And that's it. If Brock Lesnar came out. That would have been the best moment. Where Brock Lesnar like rips it. Like like you know how the, the, the bra that Taker and Brock had last year on Raw. Right? Like how Lesnar ripped it to the ring. Like imagine he did that for him and, uh, uh, for him and Goldberg. Yo, that would have been the sickest thing. But I get that. Be, it's best that you save... The uh, the fact that these two are going to have a match and they're going to be interacting with each other in the ring soon. So, it might as well just keep that under wraps. So, after that, we had... Uh, hold on, before I, before I get to that. Uh, we, how do we go from Goldberg spearing Heyman and Jack Hamming or Jack Hammering Rusev in the ring? We go from that to a trick or... What was it? What was it? No. Oh, well, sorry. Tree, what was it? Trick or street fight or tree or street? I don't fucking know. Tree or street fight. I think that was what it was called, right? Enzo Amore and Big Cass, who did an awesome promo about Toy Story. Now, I'm thinking, okay, I like this. But it's going to get ruined because this match is going to take forever. It's going to go through like... A dozen commercial breaks, and then it's gonna end with Big Cass and Carl Anderson get involved. Anderson goes through a table with pie in his face. I'm pretty sure The Rock is somewhere smiling because of that. And then after that, ends Omar with the DDG, and then one, two, three, and he gets the win. Now, even though he failed it, uh, he landed, and 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 Gallows freaking, you know, he fell after. But still, you know, DDG, you know, that might take a while for me to get used to. I'm not the that will take a while for me to digest, you know. Um, I mean, Raw tonight was, I don't know if it's, I don't know, I can't say decent. It, it didn't feel decent. It was like, uh, I, I'm going to say questionable because I can't really say it was God awful. Exact. Uh, uh, fuck it. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm not going to judge the show because I can't really give it a specific answer because if I say, oh, it was God awful. And then I'm going to look back and be like, eh, wasn't that bad and you know so i just can't give it a de definitive answer yet but um uh yeah trick or oh, sorry tree or street fight i'd rather have matt hardy tree or delete 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 or jeff hardy's version obsolete delete obsolete Delete, but yeah, that's just me. So we go from the 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 tree or street fight to a cruiserweight championship match. Now I did read the news that WWE has announced that there will be a title match. I'm hoping it was for the tag team title since Cesaro and Sheamus did defeat New Day via disqualification, meaning that they deserve a rematch because they did the same thing for Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. But nope, it was for the cruiserweight title that's going to be on the line. Now I'm thinking, fuck, again? I mean, uh, I guess he gets his rematch. He couldn't wait till Survivor Series. I mean, they're not going to be on the team. So, I mean, they're not going to have a cruiserweight team because SmackDown doesn't have a cruiserweight team. But they can because, you know, they have Kalisto and people that's at the, uh, the people that, that's at 195 to 210 pounds around there. But, uh, no, they're having a one-on-one -on -one title match, and Brian Kendrick was able to walk out, champ, and TJ Perkins so, so, showed some aggression, but still, eh, not enough to satisfy, satisfy me. 
Uh, Mick Foley was on his way to the ring talking to some guy that works in the backstage. And uh, Ron Strowman walks through. And after he's like, look, I've beaten two dudes. I've beaten three guys. Put me on your Survivor Series team. Either you do that or I'm going to decimate the entire bloody roster. McFoley was like, hey man, you think you're going to try to pull that shit on me? Now look, I ain't going to lie. I, I, it, it worked. I, I'm scared. But how do you think it'll make me look to the other superstars if you try to intimidate me, man? Look, here's what you're going to do. You're going to be in the Battle Royale. That's going to be happening later on tonight. In order for you to get in that Survivor Series spot, you have to earn it, bitch. So you have to go in that Battle Royale, defeat all the motherfuckers that's in the shit, and then you come out winner. You win the shit, you're in the shit. Simple as that. And then Strowman went in the Battle Royale. He, I don't want to say dominant, but... Eh. He came in, he eliminated a lot of people. Cesaro and, she uh, Cesaro and uh, uh, Sheamus had a problem, and... and uh, Look, Strowman won the fucking thing. Sami Zayn was the last guy he eliminated, and that's it. It was kind of quite impressive. Actually, better than all the squash matches he's fucking been through, you know? So, Mick Foley's in the ring talking about Survivor Series, saying how, oh, Kevin Owens and Jericho left a bad taste in their mouth, right? Um, I had a bad taste in my fucking mouth when Charlotte won the title. Oh, again! Again! Again, and again, and again, and again. <sighs> Jesus Christ. And then, you know, they come out, back and forth, Roman Reigns comes out. I have a list now. It's not just a list. It's called Jim's. Now, Byron Saxton should be number one, but he's tied with the guy that I knew that was going to come out when... Kevin Owens and Jericho and Foley was talking in the ring. The U.S. champion Roman Reigns comes out. What does Roman Reigns do? Roman Reigns said something that earned his spot in the death list. Roman Reigns said, I quote, We got SpongeBob SquarePants and we got his best friend Patrick. End quote. Additional quote. Look, you're even standing like him. And additional quote. Roman Reigns, you bastard, you long-haired Samoan fuck. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, diss. Don't you ever diss SpongeBob SquarePants. A show that's been a phenomenon for over 17 years. For 17 years, SpongeBob has been around. All right? Spongebob will always be a success. You, Roman, will never be a success as a babyface. Or a success. Period. So you're on my death list along with Byron 1Z Sexton. Simple as that. So, and, uh, and then Mick Foley made the US title match, which I didn't fucking care because Roman Reigns... I, I, I'll get to that later on. So... Charlotte comes out with her queen entrance and talking about Survivor Series, how oh, she's the leader, and talking smack to Nikki Bella and Becky Lynch and Alexa Bliss and then and then and then Bailey comes out and and Bailey was like, you know what, Charlotte, I speak for everyone. I'm looking at my so I'm looking at my shoulders, huh, huh? Oh, everyone, not me, not me, it, everyone but me. How about that? You're speaking for everyone but Jim that that they're sick and tired of hearing Charlotte speak. Ah, uh -uh, no. You should change the name from Charlotte to Sasha because I can't stand Sasha when she speaks about Eddie, the women's revolution, and kids, and history, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 kill myself, hang myself, fucking... Shit, like, I I just can't take it anymore, all right? All right, all right, so you know what, Sasha? For all that, all those times, you, you, you're you talking about Women's Revolution and First Time Ever's and making history? Guess what? Your promos 
just made the death list, all right? You're number three, Sasha, on the death list because of your promos. Not because of your wrestling ability, because of your wrestling promos. Suppose that. All right. Thank you, Bailey, for uh, reminding me of that. Bailey fought Nia Jax. Nia Jax beat Bailey. Ba uh, Nia Jax got revenge on Bailey for beating her back at NXT Takeover London back in December of last year. There you go. Um, Byron Saxton wearing a onesie, while Charlotte, the queen, the beautiful queen, sitting at commentary. I am glad we have Corey Graves there. Michael Cole being the fucking, just being the old guy with young people. And we got Byron Saxton, the one dude that he has something good, but everyone still hates him. Uh, he has a good smile, like everyone else says, but smiles will not get you anywhere, all right? Smiles will not get you nowhere. Ask Shawn Michaels when he lost it back in 96, okay? Um, yeah, or 97, whatever the fuck. Cesaro and Sheamus had an inner match later on in a tag team match. Did anyone care? I was hoping for the tag team titles would be on the line. No, New Day is busy having a funny conversation. I'm not gonna lie. They still entertain me. It's just, it's it's exhausting for me to sit here and act like I care that they're tag team champions still. After, you know, I thought at SummerSlam would be the day that they would lose it. Eh, nope, still happening. But they had a funny segment. Big E was, was a comma from uh, Nation of Domination. Xavier Woods was Papa Shango. And Kofi Kingston actually did this perfectly because he had the dreads. The uh, Godfather on the booty train. I wish Byron Saxon was lying down on the fucking train tracks. And the fucking booty train came to a fucking crush his ass. But oh, that got dark. Okay. Uh, what else? What else happened? We didn't see Stephanie McMahon. Thank Christ! Like I can't, like I, I can't stand Stephanie. Holy shit! She's probably getting her fucking mouth deep throated by uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Okay. Uh, what else happened? I, I think that's all. I, I'm looking on fucking Bleacher Report, and, and I don't see anything else. Uh, Jericho was about to add Roman Reigns onto the list, but that didn't happen. And. Yeah, I haven't seen anything else. I'm looking at Bleacher Report. I don't see shit. Okay, I gotta scroll down then. Oh, okay. Okay, so Jericho and Roman Reigns had their match. I don't care. It was it was boring because I knew Reigns was somehow gonna walk out champ, and he did because Kevin Owens got himself the squad of got got Jericho or Roman Reigns the squad of yeah yeah Chris Jericho disqualified. Yeah, if you hit one, then the other is disqualified because it benefits, it, it it benefits the other person because you're beating up the other person. I I don't know if that makes sense. Um, uh, what else happened on the show? I uh no, that's basically it. You know, I I'm looking on Bleacher Report real quick, and yes, yeah, Charlotte looks fucking hot. Shit. Please, I will smash you. Um, the Cruiserweights had their, had their six-man tag team match again. We didn't need to get rid of six-man tag. Like, bring in the like, Cruiserweight tag team titles or something. I don't know. Fucking, that's all I'm seeing. Tag team, tag team, tag team. Shit. Bring in the like, Cruiserweight tag team titles or something. Shit. Something. Uh, yeah. I, I think I covered everything. I got about one minute left. Okay. So, what do you guys think about Monday Night Raw tonight? I can't give it a, a definitive answer. I'm just going to put a, a poll in the top right of your screen. If you made it this far into the video, there will be a poll top right of your screen. That you can go vote and let, and let me know how you guys feel about Monday Night Raw tonight, Halloween. I feel like, you know, when it's a holiday or something where it has... A meaning to where you have to wear costumes and stuff. That's where WWE fucking sucks. So I I think that I think tonight is that night. But I don't know. Leave your comments down below, guys. Follow me on Twitter at boy one two three gym. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, vote. Did you like Raw? Did you hate Raw? Leave it. Leave the leave your comments below also. And follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Uh, previous videos might be in the description. Don't quote me on that. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'm out. 
Uh, later.